Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to learn how to set up the environment using this Gurum IDE. Of course, if you have Postgre, MySQL or SQLite installed in your computer, you can use their interface for all the practices. So now let's move on to this Guru website. So I will provide the link to this website in the description below. So what you want to do is you want to actually register, after which go to the dashboard. And then over here, you can see the container. So you click on create new container. So for a name, you want to name the container. So I will do SQL tutorial. And then description is optional. So you can just leave it blank. For the region, they say that you, you they will provide the faster region in the current access environment as a default. So the default setting is the fastest environment. So you just leave it as it is. For the visibility, you can put it as public. And then template-wise, deployment, we just leave it as it is. GPU, same. For the stack, uh, you can choose any programming language. You can choose either Python or R. Uh, this actually doesn't matter because we will be using uh, mainly SQL queries. We won't be using these programming languages. So I'll choose Python and then I'll just leave this as default. Then over here, under additional modules and package, you want to actually tick on install MySQL. So we'll be using MySQL for this uh, uh, this cloud ID. And then for here, you want to enable MySQL CTL command. After which, you just click on create. Uh, connect contain spaces. Yeah, so we can put spaces here. Let's do tutorial. That should work. Yep, so this will take some time. All right, so now that you have actually successfully created the container, you will actually show this pop-up. You go to run container. Okay, so now that we actually see the terminal, you want to actually start doing some tests to make sure that the installation is actually successful. So what I want to do is you want to go to mysql-ctl, start. Okay, so after which you see that it says that um, the database has been added. And then you ask you to take note of the credentials. So your username will be root. The database name is MySQL. And then everything is being logged in. So now we can just key in MySQL. All right. So now we actually log into the SQL terminal. So we can do show databases. And then these are the existing database. Uh, we can actually gonna we are actually gonna create. Uh, a database and then create some tables in the next video so thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one